Hi, it's Chester Tugwell at Blue PK and Computer Training. And what we're going to do in this video is to look at a way of adding up the last six months worth of sales in our table, uh, but using a method that will automatically update. So the date at the moment for me is October 2018. So at the moment I'd want it to add up this six months worth of sales. But as we move on to November, I'd want it to add up from November backwards six months. So we want that to be totally automated. Now, before I start this example, I just want to explain one point, and this is very important you have it set up in this way if you're gonna use this method. These column headings are actually dates. Okay, they're formatted with month and uh, year, but the, they're, the actual dates in those sales are the 1st of January 2018, the 1st of February 2018, the 1st of March 2018. Now I'm going to do Control 1, which will take me into Format Sales, just to show you how I formatted uh, these sales. By default, they would appear like that, so the 1st of the 1st, 2018. But what I did is I used this format here, and you can type that in if it doesn't appear in your list, MMM-YY. Uh, will enter the, uh, the date in the format that I'm currently using. Okay, so let's start off. We wanted to find the last six months worth, of, the sum of the last six months worth of sales. And to do this, I'm going to use a function called offset. Now what offset does is return a range of values, but you have to kind of say where your range ends, uh, begins and where it ends. So the first argument in the offset function is the reference function. That's kind of your starting point, where you're going to start from. So I'm going to say uh, D3. Now, eventually we want to get from here to here from D3, but you've got to kind of give your starting point. So we want to move no rows from that position. We don't want to move up or down from that position, comma. But the next argument is columns. Now, essentially, what we've got to do is we've got to go sort of to the October cell and move six cells back. But this column argument is asking for the position of this October value. Now, one way of getting the position of that is to use the match function. So I'm going to use the match function. What the match function does is return the position of a value in a one dimensional array. What we've got to do is find the position of today's date within this one dimensional array, the column headings in my table. So the lookup value is going to be today's date. And the way to automate that is to use the today function. That will always return today's date within your formula, comma. My lookup array is my range of dates across the top of my table, which I need to fix because I'm going to be copying this formula down. And my match type, well, I'm essentially doing an approximate match. Today's date doesn't appear anywhere in this row, but it is between the dates that I've specified. Remember, this is the 1st of January, the 1st of February, the 1st of March. Now, these values are in ascending order. When you're using match type for approximate match where the values are in ascending order, you use one. Or, if you like, you can omit the argument because it is the default. So it's either one or omitted. Okay, so we've dealt with the columns argument. We've essentially said that we want to start the range of sales that the offset uh, function is going to return in this position here. Now, the next arguments are height and width. Now, the height is how many rows and the width is how many columns. Ah, before I get started though, just with this match function, before we move on to height and width, essentially, remember that my starting position was this cell here that's actually behind my formula now, but it's D3. Now at the moment, the match function is going to say basically that October is 10 months in position 10 in this row. Now what's going to happen is we're going to move 10 positions from D3, which will actually give us position November 2018 over here, because we're actually starting our count from this cell here, one on from our original reference point. So the long and short of this is, is that you put, need to put minus one at the end of the match function. So the match will actually return nine instead of 10. Okay, so now we're onto the height position. Now we only want to return one row, so the height is one. And the width, well, it's six months, isn't it? So we need six. Now if I put the six in, what it will do is actually 
crater range starting from the position, this position six months to the right of this position. So it'll actually the range will be kind of over here. The range we want is from this position to the left. So guess what you have to do? You have to put minus six in to move to the left. So there we are. Now, offset function. Great little trick. If you want to see the range that the offset function is returning, just select that part of the formula. And then on your keyboard, across the top, you've got your F keys, F1, F2, F3, etc. Press F9. F9 just temporarily evaluates your formula. And hopefully there you can see exactly what it's doing. So we're starting in May, 5563. Five, we've got that. 5695 for June, 5475 for July, up to October 5863. So it's returning the correct range. So I'm just going to undo that because obviously you don't want to hard code that into our formula. Now, if I press enter at this stage, it will just say value because essentially the offset is returning an array of values, which basically one cell can't do much with, unless that is you do something with that array, like add it up, which is exactly what we want to do. So I'm going to put that array of values within the sum function, press enter, and then it gives me my last six months sales values quite nicely. Control shift four, by the way, for applying the currency format. And I'll probably get rid of the decimal places there. Now I can check that that answer's right by just selecting those cells there. Um, those are the cells that I wanted to add up and look down here, 33,828, which is what I've got here. Copy this down, double click. So let's check another one. If I select this range of cells here, 36,659 has done exactly the same there. So because we're using the today function within our match function, within our offset function here, this formula is always going to uh, remain up uh, remain up to date. So when I get to November, it's going to add up the range of sales from November six months backwards. And obviously, if you wanted to add up three months, then this would be minus three. 12 months, this would be minus 12. Okay. Well, that's the end of the video. It's Chester Tupple at Blue Pecan Computer Training. Hopefully that's been useful. And thanks very much for listening.